The trick that fooled Will Smith is a trick both old and well known. Magicians call it the three card Monty. It left Will Smith mind blown. It was performed by a famous magician. His name is David Blaine. Will Smith had no idea how it was done. It completely deceived his brain. It was created in the 15th century, but no one knows by who. This is a powerful magic trick. Its secret is my gift to you. The magician has three cards. Two of them are jokers and the other is a queen. All the spectator needs to do is follow the queen. The magician picks up the cards and throws the queen onto the table. He throws it again, and again, and again, and again, then suddenly mixes up the cards. He asks the spectator which card is the queen. If you guess this card, then you'd be correct. The magician says he's going even faster this time. He throws the queen onto the table and mixes up the cards. He then asks which one is the queen. This one here? No, you said this one here, didn't you? Again, the spectator is correct. This time, the magician says he will go even faster. Like before, he throws the queen onto the table, leaving the two jokers in his hand. The spectator is then instructed to follow the queen. They guess that the queen is in the middle, but they are wrong, it's actually on the left. The magician then shows the spectator again. He throws the queen onto the table, leaving one joker, two jokers and three jokers. The magician checks again. There's one joker, two jokers, and three jokers. The spectator's confused and asks where the queen is. The magician snaps his fingers and shows that all three cards are now the queens. And that is the three card Monty. If you are interested in learning incredible card tricks, including flourishes, cuts, shuffles, and more, and tricks that are just too good to reveal on YouTube, then check out my magic card course in the first link in the description below. The course contains some of the best tricks ever created and will give you the ability to walk into a room and impress anybody that you like. So go and check out Card Magic Pro in the first link in the description. To do this trick, you need three cards, two jokers and one queen. Before you learn the routine, you need to master the slight, which is a false card toss. It looks as if you're tossing the bottom card like this, but in reality, you're tossing the top card. Pick up a queen and a joker. Place the queen on the bottom and the joker on the top. Your hand position is like this. Your thumb should support both cards, and then your first finger holds the top card, in this case the joker, and middle finger holds the bottom card, which in this case is the queen. Now practice showing the queen and then flipping your hand over. As you do this, keep hold of the bottom card and release your first finger. This will create the deceptive illusion that you're throwing the queen onto the table, when in reality it's the joker. Keep practicing this move and once you can do it consistently, then begin to learn the routine. The mechanics behind it are very simple, but you need to build the muscle memory to be able to do it consistently, so just keep practicing it over and over and you'll get it very soon. Now you're ready to begin the routine. Take a pencil and lightly mark the back of the queen on the outside in all four corners. This will mean that later on you'll be able to identify the card when it's face down. The markings are so light the spectator will never notice. Display all three cards and tell the spectator to follow the queen. Throw the queen between your hands. This is a convincer that sells the idea that you're always tossing the bottom card. Throw the queen onto the table and then mix up the cards slowly the spectator will be able to correctly guess where the queen is.
then speed things up by throwing the queen onto the table again and mixing up the cards faster. Again, the spectator will correctly guess where the card is. For the third time, perform the slides you learnt earlier and do a false throw. The spectator will think that the queen is on the table when in reality it's a joker. Move what they think is the queen to the side and then put the other joker under the queen which is actually in your hand. Do another false throw to apparently show that you're holding both jokers. Now mix up the cards and the spectator will always get it wrong because they're following the wrong card. For the fourth attempt, do another false throw and like before, show that you have both jokers. Then turn over what they think is the queen that you've put to the side and show that it's also a joker. Find the queen by looking at the pencil mark on the back and then put a joker under it and do another false throw to show that there are two more jokers. Then turn over the third joker. Finally, use the markings on the back of the cards to find the queen and then move it to the bottom of the pile. Reveal the queen by turning the pile over and then turn the pile back over and slide off the top card. Then reveal the queen again and slide off the top card and then show the queen. Then finally show the queen which will be the final card in your hand and this creates the illusion that all three cards are the queens.